red version of my favorite blazer. Welcome back to my channel. I am Annette and this is a vintage splendor, your favorite destination for vintage and thrifting. Today we are at Crossroads in Los Angeles. Crossroads is one of my favorite places to go to shop for vintage and secondhand designer goods. You heard that right, secondhand designer goods. I'm going to show you how to navigate the store, how to shop Crossroads, how to find the best deals, and then I'm going to show you my haul and how I'm styling my finds. Let's go! places I always look at Crossroads is their designer rack and then their staff picks. A lot of stores also have a designated rack for vintage but sometimes it's mixed in which makes the searching and hunting a little bit more fun. So the designer racks always have gems. I found really really good pieces and then staff picks I love. All of the stores have a very very unique like feel and aesthetic so just like it's kind of like a fun little surprise. You don't know what you're gonna get but these are the two racks. I always search and let's see what I can find. Guys, the red version of my favorite blazer. I have the navy one and I wear it all the time. I literally was just looking through the rack and I came across this. I think this is a must have for me. The next place I look is behind the counter. This is where a lot of the designer items are and consignment items. So last time I was shopping, you might remember, I found Chanel loafers for $150. I jumped at them and they were one of my favorite finds ever and you don't wanna skip looking at what the deals are behind the counter. Last place to look before you start shopping every rack is look up at the wall. A lot of the really great finds are also up on the wall. There's a good mix of vintage, designer and just like really cool trending pieces so I look at the whole store I don't just shop women's I always look at the men's section because I found a really cool Celine tea in the men's department last time that I was shopping and it's like a really really great fit so like look at all those three spots and then you can then shop the whole store so let's go Thank you. Okay, I am shopping for summer. We are headed to Japan in a couple of months and I'm like looking for fun uh, platforms right. that I could wear, dress up, dress down. So I'm gonna try these on and see how they fit. This store also has this display case of even more consignment and designer pieces. So this one has a lot more sneakers and boots and my tip is to always shop out of season. So just because we're in the middle of summer doesn't mean I'm not looking at boots and cowboy boots because I'm always looking at adding to my wardrobe regardless of what the weather is like outside. Okay, look at these like Gucci jellies. These are so hot right now. They're $1.95. That's like less than half the price to buy something new. So I am shopping for summer right now. I'm always looking for pieces just to add to my wardrobe. If I love it, I buy it. But I really want really fun styling pieces. You know I love prints, I love patterns, I love color, I love texture. So if something fits any of those, I'm going for it. And the first thing I spotted were these really cool pants. Look at how fun they are. I like the color because I can definitely dress this up well into the fall and winter, but with like a cute little like print denim vest. This would be great with some heels, my hair up with like a little scarf detail. I love these. Anytime I know I'm going to be shopping at Crossroads, I always go through my closet and I do a quick closet <laughs> clean out, a little purge, items that I'm not wearing and I always make sure that they're very clean and in resellable condition and so what I do is I bring it in and I hand it off to the team so they actually do the buyback while I shop so it's like multitasking in the best way possible. I always get store credit because I need the money to spend the money. Cute 
Dodd little linen mini dress. This is perfect for summer. This is exactly what I had in mind for my little Japan trip. I think I could wear these with some sneakers, with some sandals. So definitely trying this on. So you guys know I'm always looking for vintage, but I have a hot list of five contemporary designers I'm always shopping for, and I always find them at Crossroads at like less than 50% off. So there's Ula Johnson, Isabel Morant, Danny, Reformation, and Stodd. And this dress is Stodd, so that's why like I get so excited when I find these gems. And they're usually in like on trend, they're like of the moment, in season, so it's like a really oh, fun you. way to shop and save money. good styling pieces and I found this dress it's a really soft material and it has this cool like little like snake print but it the material actually has texture to it so I think this will be really fun to layer other pieces I feel like I could do like a slip dress over it maybe like a chunky sweater during the winter I could even do like a light trench and some sneakers when we are traveling so this are the kind of pieces that I like to buy at Crossroads because they're just like really versatile and I can definitely do a lot of fun styling found are you surprised that i reach for it i love a good vintage silk slip this one is satin and it's really soft and i like love the little baby blue minty color so this is going to be another fun styling piece but i'm going to try it on first i love a good poochie moment i mean if this doesn't scream summer i don't know what does i love the colors like poochie's one of my favorite designers because the prints and the colors are just so happy and they put me in a good mood. Gunny Sacks, if there is a brand that is the moment right now, it is Gunny Sacks. I feel like Cottage Core has taken over for the last four years and it's so hard to find anything Gunny Sacks out in the wild. And this is a really great top. I have a Gunny Sacks skirt, but I think I would love to pair this with one of my like really ripped up vintage Levi's and some heels and just like do a fun little like earrings and my hair up and just kind of do like a little like country girl goes to Italy. I don't know. It's a vibe. I love this color. It's like spring summer. I'm gonna try it on again. My tip is to always pull everything. Do all of your shopping as soon as you get here. Go rack by rack. Ask them to hold everything in the bag and then you can try everything on at once. I don't like to shop a little and then try on a little. I like to focus on all of the shopping and then trying on. So yes, I have a lot of stuff to try on, but this is how I like really find those gems is like I shop then sort after trying. One of the pieces that is always on my shopping list is a vest. I always like vests in a lot of prints because I like to style them as tops or as like layering pieces over dresses or with jeans and a t-shirt. Like this one is really fun. I feel like this is definitely great for fall and winter, but I want something in like more springy tones, maybe in a silk, something a little bit flowier. for color you know this and I'm shopping and I found this I was like ooh leather and I thought they were shorts but it's actually a skirt so this is even better I love when in, like shorts are hidden under a skirt I have something like this it's wool and I wear it a lot but I just love this color this could be a really good styling piece everyone needs a good menswear inspired striped button down in their closet these are perfect for summer styling so I love these as like just like a little cover-up like for the beach day I love just wrapping it around my waist or just kind of over my shoulders just to add some of like a print mix and then you can always just throw it on over a slip dress belt it bam you're done when you're shopping at crossroads I want you to shop it like a thrift store or a flea market you need to go through every single rack and you need to shop the whole store if you are in a rush then you want to stand for certain colors or prints that stand out to you but I always find so many gems because I go through one at a time
mind. You can do it rather quickly and just pull out something that looks interesting. This print really caught my attention as well as the ruffle collar, but then I'm giving it another look and it's not my thing, so I'm just gonna keep going. I always avoid all black because it's just not my vibe. So I'm running and spending time and I'm, now I'm gonna go through this side where there's a little bit more color, some more prints. So just go through and scan. Like I mentioned earlier, don't skip the men's department. This is where I look for really cool, like vintage tees. This is like 1980, like Olympics tee. And then I also look for sweatshirts, jeans, and blazers. This is so cute. Look, this one has hearts on it. I love it. And this is Oscar de la Renta. My arms are full, but I'm not going to skip out on the belts because you know I love a good belt. So I found a couple that are really good. Look at this one. This one's really, really great leather belt with the stud detailing. And then I saw this and I like love this. This would be so cool with dresses. Definitely grabbing this one. I found tucked in to a lot of the contemporaries of this cute little vintage dress. I love the white collar. And it buttons down. I feel like this would be really cute with some like loafers and a cute little like ponytail. And I feel like it's giving me like 70s school girl vibes. I love this cute little like pink nylon bag. This is giving me like the Prada little bag, but it's not thousands of dollars. It's $22. This is so cute. Really, really nice structured blazer. I love the pinstripe and I love the buttons. Definitely trying her on. Don't forget to look for shoes because look at these cute kitten heel sandals. They're not. Unfortunately, not my size, but they are Italian leather. They're really cute. 50% off, so they're like $25. So cute. This would be like totally carry vibes and also these cute little like lime green mules. These are like always on my list because I wear mules so much because I just like slip them on. I'm wearing them right now and they go with dresses, they go with skirts, they go with jeans, they go with like vintage men's, gym shorts, all of the things. My favorite part. So something I would recommend if you are shopping, let's say you're typically a denim and t-shirt girl and the day that you're shopping you're not wearing jeans, just grab some jeans and then try everything on with the jeans just so you can really visualize what the pieces you pull will look like on you. You know I wear everything and anything so I just like know how to style it in my head but I still like to get a variety of pieces so I'm gonna like try throwing a t-shirt on over this dress just to get some styling inspiration. Okay, I always put together outfits when I am in the fitting room. Wait until you see these pants. They're so good. They look really good with heels. I feel like I have to get them. They're a nice high waist and I love colored and printed pants like this because it does the styling for me. Like, just threw on a simple top and like my fun shoes and I'm like ready to go. But I'm like excited to style like other colors and prints with these. So I think these pants are a must. Love this t-shirt, but check out this gorgeous silk skirt. It's so beautiful. The flow is so nice. So you know me, I like to mix things up. I'm a casual, glamorous gal. So I think I would definitely pair this with a t-shirt maybe some cowboy boots and just like throw on like a cool like denim jacket or a denim shirt. But I also like it because I could wear like a little corset top and wear it during the holidays or even a wedding. Love both of these pieces. This outfit is giving me Real Housewives of New Jersey for some reason, <laughs> but this dress is so good. So as I mentioned, I'm like looking for cool styling pieces. This is such a good layering piece for year round wear. This belt is totally my style, you know? I have a thing for belts. These are both going to the yes pile and then I'm gonna have to edit. Oh, I can't believe I found the red version of my favorite blazer. This one's a little bit bigger, but that's what I love about this blazer is because it's on the longer side, I can style it over dresses. It's like a good piece to just 
take when you're traveling it doubles as like a cardigan or as a jacket i just love that it's just a red version and it's a little bit more lightweight than my navy blue one I love the color of this skirt. It's actually Wilson's Leather, who remembers that brand. It's just really, really big on me, but I love that it has the comfort of shorts, but she's chic in the front as a skirt. And this top is a miss for me, even though it's gunny sacks and it's really fun finding it, but it's the perfect case of, I don't love it, so I'm not gonna buy it just because it's gunny sacks. I'm sure somebody else will find it and love her and will buy it. These two pieces, perfect example, you can love something, but it doesn't love you back. So the Pucci dress, huge and it just doesn't give me any shape and then this blazer is big what i envisioned was it being super fitted so that i could wear it as a top not necessarily as a blazer and i think this would just cost a lot of money to alter so i'm gonna leave it for someone else who's going to appreciate her but this is kind of the vibe that I was going for just imagine with like jeans with cargo pants like my like Bermudas that I just cut up. That would be so good. Denim shorts, skirts, trousers, the works. Um, so this one I'm definitely adding to my shopping list. These are the sandals. They're really cute. They would be perfect if they were my size. So we're just gonna have to pass on these babies. so I can chat about why I bought everything I did. We are home and by popular request, I'm gonna do a recap and a haul of everything that I got. I am really excited to share what I found with you. So the total I spent was about 175 on everything and I had store credit. So I sold stuff, they gave me credit and I used that to buy everything. So I didn't have to pay for anything. So first thing, this belt, I couldn't say no to this belt. It's such a good styling piece. I always say like, always invest in belts, especially ones that are a statement because they'll do the styling for you, especially when you have a piece that, you know, is really simple. And I love belts like this for summer because they're just really like easy, really chic. You can put this on over a slip dress or a linen dress and it kind of gives you that like, cool French girl chic effortless style. I had to get this skirt. Brown is usually not my color, but I just love the way this like looked on, how it felt. I think this was only $22. And as I mentioned, I like the idea of styling this a little bit more casual with like a t-shirt or sweatshirt or like my French leather jacket, some cowboy boots, or even some sneakers but it's versatile enough that I can throw on like a really nice top or even a turtleneck and like a really pretty jeweled belt and even rework it in the for the holidays. But right now I'm in the summer mindset. So that's how we're gonna style it right now. So I got this dress, even though I don't typically buy bodycon dresses like this, they're just not my style. And I figured I'm gonna try styling it up as a dress, as I mentioned, maybe throw on a t-shirt over it or a sweatshirt or even my linen trench and if I don't like the vibe I'm thinking I'll just cut it and then I can wear it as a turtleneck great layering piece I have one that's a little bit of like a green tone and I wear that all the time so my advice is like don't ever shy away from reworking pieces especially if you're gonna wear it more next I had to get this vintage tee I have a thing for vintage tees as you know I love styling my vintage tees with my vintage Levi's. It's one of my go-to outfit formulas. I've got a video on that. And then I just do a bold lip and big chunky earrings. I'm thinking I could wear this um, with like a skirt that I'm wearing right now with some like mules, really easy styling. And it's a really fun t-shirt and it's really, really soft. One of my requirements for buying vintage t-shirts is they have to be really soft. And this one's really soft. I love my navy blazer so much. I had to get it in red. I'm really excited that I found this Ralph Lauren blazer. Anyone who's been shopping for this blazer knows it's so hard to find them when thrifting or even shopping at a place like Crossroads. 
these are a unicorn vine and i'm excited to have red because it's a definitely a void in my closet i have a ton of blazers none that are red so this one is definitely going to get worn a lot this summer and probably fall winter i mean i wear my navy one all the time and as i mentioned in the fitting room what i love about the ralph lauren blazer is it's really long it kind of hits like upper mid thigh on me so then it's great layering piece over dresses and if i'm going on a trip and i only want to bring one jacket blazer kind of cardigan i bring my ralph lauren one because it dresses up outfits it also makes outfits a little bit more edgy and instant styling save the best for last i spotted these jeans they're actually like pants as soon as we walked in and i love it i love the colors I love the prints and I just love the fit as you can tell it's kind of wide like but on the bottom it's just slightly tapered and I love this because it makes it like very very fashion forward I feel like if it was just wide like it would just look a little frumpy so the slight balloon shape just like really chics it up I'm excited to wear these with heels I have enough jeans and pants that I can wear with flats and with my sneakers these i want to keep long so that they like skim right at the heel and i think these pants i'm probably gonna wear like first out of everything that i bought that is how to score the best deals at crossroads i promise you if you follow my tips and tricks you will walk away with the best gems and if you want to feel like it's a little bit of free shopping definitely do a closet clean out take your items in let them do the buyback so then you've got some play money you can buy some great pieces let me know which your favorite piece was that i bought the pants are definitely my favorite plus the blazer well actually i love everything but you let me know what you love and be sure to subscribe and give this a thumbs up thank you so much see you soon